Salut à tous, my name is Marion Buricatu. I am a French artist and I lived here in the United States since 2001. This video is about art and how to impress your friends and family at the museum with three easy facts. So, was Mary Cassatt a modern artist? Well, merci for asking this question and you'll get the answer at the end of this video. Here are the three facts I'm going to talk to you about. Fact number one, her life was her art. Fact number two, painting children and women. And fact number three, the impressionist painter. Here's a painting by Mary Cassatt. It's called Reine Lefebvre, holding a nude baby. It was painted in 1902 and this painting is at the Worcester Art Museum. Fact number one, her life was her art. That's difficult for me to say. Um, so, Mary Cassatt was American born in 1844 and she was born in Pennsylvania. She came from a comfortably but not rich family. She grew up mostly in Paris and this is where she got her artistic training. Marie Cassatt wanted to be recognized as a professional, not a woman who paints, as was the expression at that time because women from the upper class at that time in France or in America were expected to know the art d'agrément and the translation for that I would say would be the creative art. So that means that they were supposed to know how to sew, they were supposed to know how to draw, how to play music, how to paint, but they were not supposed to become professional. But Mary Cassatt and her very good friend Bert Morisot, the other Impressionist painter, were exactly the opposite. One of them is quoted as saying, we professional despise amateur. If it meant giving up, giving up marriage and family, she would do it. And she did it. So yes, she was a modern woman. Fact number two, painting children and women. The constraint of a society at that time meant that, meant that women could only paint private and domestic life. They didn't have access to many more painting subjects. So that was definitely not modern. Also, Marie Cassatt was very conventional in the way she dressed, in her manner and in her background. She lived with her family in a Parisian apartment. She was definitely not living the social Parisian life. And she would only see Edgar Degas and Berthe Morisot, also upper class, because they were the only ones that were acceptable to them. So that's definitely not modern. But she would do something. She would paint domestic life. And that was revolutionary. So nowadays, we don't think that painting domestic life is revolutionary, but I can tell you that at that time, it was. And why? Because it was a modern subject. She was painting her daily life without any constraint. She was fully free from the constriction of conventional art. So yes, she was a modern woman. Fact number three, the Impressionist painter. In 1878, she was 34 years old, she joined the Impressionist. And this is the new avant-garde. They call themselves the intransigeant, and that's the translation in English is the uncompromising. Here is a painting called Reading Le Figaro, and this is a portrait of her mother. This painting marks her debut as the Impressionist. Why? Why is this painting the debut of her impressionist face. Well, because this painting is honest and it's without pretense. Again, that's very important to understand that about impressionist paintings. But also because she used a light impressionist palette without the color black. Renoir is quoted as saying, one morning, one of us having no black used blue instead and impressionism was born. The mother was very pleased of his painting and she said that it made her look 10 years younger. So yes, she was a modern woman. So here are the three facts. Easy to remember about Mary Cassatt, is she a modern artist? Fact number one, her life was her art. 
Fact number two, painting children and women. And fact number three, the impressionist painter. Now, if you want to impress your friends and family even more at the museum or just have fun at your next dinner table, the next video is just for you because I have created seven trivia questions. Also, if you want to learn more about Mary Cassatt, check out the links below. Bye -bye. Nice chatting with you. Abonne-toi, which means subscribe to my channel. Have fun and see you at the next video.